Hello, Internet. Welcome to another episode of... I'm going to call this an experimental cataclysm episode, but I'm going to upload it in lieu of a tutorial video on the day that this goes up. So worth noting, today is Monday. Um, it is 5-4-2020. So yeah, things are very much subject to change, but I thought we would take a moment and talk about the new container system that Korg has implemented into the game. So a little bit experimental cataclysm, a little bit tutorial, and yeah, we're just going to roll with it. So if you don't know, nested containers have been added to the game. This is something that has been talked about for a long time. I've been a part of the cataclysm community for probably like three-ish years, and it comes up from time to time. People have always wanted it. So let's talk, What what is a nested container? So if we open our, actually, let me pull up an old video. Uh, so here's a clip from our previous tutorial episode. This is what the inventory system previously looked like in Cataclysm. There was the items that are currently being worn on our body, and then there is just our inventory. Now, this is a very nebulous system. This is kind of a um, cumulative storage place for uh, all of the storage that our character can currently accommodate. We can see up here we can currently hold 49 liters worth of materials, and that's due to the various contributions that our inventory or rather our equipment makes to our storage capacity so for instance um, the duffel bag is contributing the largest amount to our storage but also if we had pants that have uh, pockets on them if we were wearing a jacket that had a pocket to them it would contribute to this kind of nebulous number it didn't represent any individual storage it was just sort of a cumulative total of all the equipment that we're currently wearing and how much we can store and so it was displayed as this here, which is just, again, a nebulous inventory of all of the things that we're currently carrying. This has been changed. So instead of having this nebulous inventory, each individual item that we wear currently will have its own storage. So when uh, we pick something up, it's not just going to be, okay, well now it's in our inventory. No, if we pick up a lighter, it might put it in our pants pocket. If we pick up a larger item, it will put it into our backpack. So let's look at what that looks like now in the game. So if we open our inventory, currently we only have items that are being worn. We don't have uh, that nebulous inventory off to the side here. And you'll see down here I have a backpack and within that backpack I currently have an artifact. So when we pick things up, they will be stored in an appropriate container. So here I've laid out some stuff. Let's just go ahead and grab uh, some food here and some books. And yes, still getting that error. That's going to go away, I imagine, over time. And you'll see here we pick up blah, 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 etc. And if we go in our inventory now, you'll see that those items have been placed underneath the backpack item that we're wearing. And it displays as backpack with seven items. This is holding seven items. So it's not just going into our inventory. It is specifically being picked up and placed in this backpack. Now, if we walk over here and we drop the backpack it will actually drop all contained items. Whereas in Cataclysm previously, if you dropped a backpack, it would randomly drop items from your inventory to make up the space that has been lost by you dropping that backpack. Now, you drop the backpack, it drops the backpack with its current inventory. Now at the moment, uh, when you find an item in the world that currently contains something like this backpack, uh, it will display as a backpack with seven items. However, if we look in the description, it will actually list the contents of that particular backpack. Now, this is a good time to mention, this is a very new feature and it's definitely something that's going to be worked on in the future. So looking at this right now, I actually kind of hate this, uh, this description here, because it's displaying the entire description of the item, I would prefer if it was just the name so that I could quickly at a glance see everything. Currently, I have to scroll down just to see. Now, part of that's because I have a really big resolution for recording and stuff. But I really would prefer, I think, if that were listed by title of the item rather, or the the item name rather than a description of the item, because um, I think that's a little clunky at the moment. But again, very very new, very rudimentary. I mean, I don't want to say rudimentary because I'm pretty sure it's a very complicated system. But this is the initial implementation. I want to really stress that to you because I've already seen a lot of people who have some negative things to say about this. Um, I don't know. I would encourage you not to just complain about it. If you have suggestions, go ahead and make suggestions. But if you just hate it and you don't have anything beneficial to say, 
maybe just keep that to yourself because honestly I saw this got implemented and within one day I saw a lot of comments that were just like nope I hate it and it's like that's not actually constructive that doesn't help anybody uh, in any way it's just sort of a rude thing to say so I really want to stress it's it's a brand new thing it's going to get worked on in the future so if there are problems because there are problems they will be worked on in the future this will get hammered out smoothed out and hopefully eventually we have a very beautiful elegant system that works perfectly and no one ever has to complain about it so uh, when you drop an item or when you find an item in the world that currently contains something it will be listed as uh, the item with X number of items alternatively if that only contains one thing so here we have uh, did I not have a box of flour somewhere I thought I did um, if we pop over oh I don't even have okay pick this up yes where please uh, let's pop over to the pantry here and see if there's anything over here if there is an item yes should be right here uh, if it contains a singular thing, it will display the name of the item in the, the this line right here. So it will say small cardboard box of flour. And if we pick that up, we can actually see that the cardboard box then has its own tab here that displays what is contained inside the cardboard box. So if there is a singular type of item in a container, it will display the name of that item in, in this list. So here we're seeing a small cardboard box of flour. If this contained multiple items, it would say small cardboard box of three items or whatever, just like we see with the backpack here. So that's one thing to note. Um, again, if we drop, okay, let's, let's go back over here. Uh, if we pick items up, they will be automatically deposited in the most suitable item. So here, if we pick up a book, it obviously cannot fit into our ammo pouches. And so it goes into the backpack. If we pick up, say, this Stanag mag, it will auto deposit that in the most, um, in, in whatever container seems most suitable. So here you'll see it place that in our chest ammo pouch. I believe that's because the ammo ankle pouch cannot accommodate such a large clip. If I pick up the M9s, it will probably go in the chest container, but it may also go into the ankle sheath. Yeah, it went into the chest ammo thing and if we pick up another one there's no more space so it will place it in our ammo pouch on our ankle instead and here we can see that again ankle ammo pouch with the m9 magazine whereas the chest ammo pouch because it has two differing items simply says two items so if you're ever in combat uh, and you need to drop a particular item say we want to drop our backpack to alleviate our um, chest encumbrance and we need to be in better fighting shape for melee we can just drop that item and know that the items we're dropping are the items in that container. Whereas in the game previously, it would randomly drop things which could lead to you not having a clip in your inventory or something like that because it chose to auto drop that item. So a lot of people really are excited for this and I totally understand why. I'm not particularly psyched about it. I think it's fine. One thing I really dislike is the removal of, um, because they're now based on the item that they're contained in we no longer have the category listings that we had in the previous inventory system which made it very easy to drop an entire category uh, we no longer have that uh, option at the moment so that's something that i do wish uh in, in some way could could reappear but i think that that is also something that is just kind of a learned behavior type thing we can learn to drop um, items uh, as we go so if we go to the drop menu you see they're not quite by category, you'll see there are books listed in the middle and at the bottom, um, and I would prefer that they were all grouped together. And if we hit category selection mode, it actually selects everything in our inventory, which is not not optimal. So that's something I personally dislike. Um, what else is there? Okay, so say we picked up this Stanag Round uh, magazine, but we're not really thrilled with the torso encumbrance, uh, which uh, is very low. Why do I only have six encumbrance on my torso? Is this not contributing to my encumbrance? Okay. Uh, well, regardless, um, is say we do not want this uh, Stan Egg Mag in our chest ammo pouch. Say we want to throw that in our backpack. What we would do is go to the backpack, select the backpack. We would go to insert, which is a new um, action. And we will insert and it will prompt us on what item we would like to insert into the backpack. Select the Stan Egg Mag 
and it will be removed from our chest ammo pouch and placed in our backpack. So that is something that we may need to do um, just to micromanage our inventory a little bit. So that's something you can do. I believe open is also a new action. I'm not sure what this does. Inventory of the backpack with 10 items. Uh, oh, and here it is listed by category. I'm not sure what the benefit of that necessarily is because I can't drop from this menu. Um, but at least it shows, I guess this is just to show the items that are contained within it. Presumably our inventory screen could get very large as we pick up items. Go ahead and pick up everything. And let's just see if we can fill this and take a look at what this actually looks like. So uh, go ahead and teleport me again. We'll just pick up everything in the house. Um, it is worth noting there are bugs at the moment. So currently trying to pick up a can of cat food and put it in our backpack, it will give us a message saying, hey, we can't store this uh, until we empty the contents. So that is a bug. It's definitely not supposed to be that way. I believe they are being treated as though the cans are currently open and uh, that prevents us from putting it in a backpack because then we would spill the contents. So that is a bug that is going to be an issue for a lot of players, I think. Um, but let's just fill. Okay, so we're at capacity now. No, we're not. We just uh, can't pick up a whole jug. Let's go ahead and pick up as much stuff as we want. We want to see how big our inventory screen gets. Ah, I see. It's listed in multiple pages. Ooh, hate that. Um, that is something presumably also that will be changed. I don't see any reason why this window could not be expanded to encompass the whole screen rather than uh, displaying page by page like this. This is the number one thing I've seen complaints about is people saying all oh, the inventory does not look very good. It's a very lengthy list. There's no real order to it. I can see that complaint and understand that complaint. Again, I'm confident, I trust, you know, Korg at this point. I trust the developers of the game. I know not all of you share my opinion of the devs. I like pretty much the entire dev team. Uh, I've, I've interacted with most of them at, at multiple times over the course of several years in the forum and on Discord. They're all very nice people. They're all very approachable. I know some of them have bad reputations. I don't really get that so much. They've always been very respectful and pleasant to me. And I have every confidence in them that they want the game to be good. And so looking at this, I'm willing to bet that if you ask Korg, hey, does this look good? He'd probably say, no, that could use a little bit of work. And so I'm confident that over time, these little things that people are already overreacting to are going to get hammered out, you know? There have been tons of quality of life updates to the game over the last couple of years. There's a lot of love and care that goes into this game. So I have every confidence that these, these little issues are going to work themselves out. And I would encourage you to just relax a little bit. If you don't like this, if you think that this is something that's really going to annoy you, you're going to really struggle with it, just don't update for a couple weeks while things get ironed out. That would be my recommendation. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's a cool new system. And I, I see the implementation. I see things that are hinted at here that are going to be coming. And I just, uh, it's fine, you know? I, I think it's fine. Um, additionally, I do want to point out, I did ask as well, apparently different storage items have different moves required to place items in them. So for instance, if I drop this M9 magazine, uh, you'll see we're at 805.39. And if I pick this up, we advance to 805.40. It is a very small movement cost to place an item in an ammo pouch. However, if I drop something, say we drop the book and we pick up the book, we're at 805.43 and we're at 805.44. Okay, so that only took one turn. Uh, my understanding is that different um, storage options have different time associated with them to uh, place an item inside of them, things like that. So that is something to keep in mind. Obviously, if we're in combat, we're not going to be picking up large groups of items anyway. We're not going to stand here and pick all this up as a zombie approaches us because it took us eight seconds to do so. And that could have led, you know, to our death, essentially. So you don't want to pick items up anyway when there are enemies around, but it's just something to be aware of. You know, if you need to pick up an, uh, an, a magazine for, for ammo, I think that that's something you could probably do without too much issue, but I would not pick up larger items and store them in our backpack. Um, so yeah, that's something to be aware of. Other than that, I don't know that there's much to talk about. I just wanted to point it out because it is a major change to the game. A lot of people have been asking questions. Why am I getting these errors? What is going on with cans, etc., etc.? 
So I thought I would keep you aware. Now again, I want to point out I'm recording this on Monday the 4th. By the time you see this, it'll probably be Thursday or Friday. And additionally, this is, again, something that's going to evolve over time. So for all I know, by the time this releases, some of these bugs will be ironed out. Um, that's, again, the only thing I really want to stress is that this is a new feature. This is a major change to some of the systems that have been in the game for a long time. I know a lot of people are excited about it, but I know a lot of people are un unhappy with the way it's been implemented. And my encouragement to you would be to just calm down, <laughs> relax. It's going to get ironed out. I guarantee um, there will be some dressing up of the features to make them look a little bit better. Um, there's going to be more information relayed. You know, I mentioned uh, different times for different storage options. That's currently not displayed anywhere. Korg said he uh, wanted to make that uh, part of a display as well. So you have an item. Oh, no, it does say base moves to take an item out 40. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, because he had just said that it's not displayed anywhere, but it looks like it is. So 300 moves to take an item out. Oh, I see. Picking up the item is not the issue. It's dropping it, I think. Uh, so we're at 808.02. So if I drop this, 808.05. Yeah, so that took 300 moves, but picking the item up does not. Okay, so it's one move, it looks like, per item to pick up. But the I, the time required to take the item out is going to be variable based on the storage item. Um, so again, the backpack is three turns in order to remove an item from it. So that's 100% something you should keep in mind. Additionally, things have a weight um, associated with them as well. This is leading to some wonky behavior, certain items. Um, I think someone mentioned the jerry can has a particular weight assigned to it that they found was a bit problematic because obviously if you overweight uh, jerry can, it's not like it's going to explode and get destroyed or something. So I have seen some comments about that as well. Um, but it's it's the same weight and uh, volume system that we're uh, used to for the most part. I don't really see major issues with this. I see little stuff that's going to change over time like the UI and whatnot. So just wanted to make a video about it, um, particularly because I'm about to record more of my tutorial series. And this is a pretty visual visible change and I just wanted to, to let people know what was going on so you know when the game suddenly looks very different and we're managing our inventory differently I wanted people to be aware of what's going on again can't stress enough things are going to change in the future as this progresses and develops this was the initial implementation of this system it's not perfect there are things that need to be worked on there are things that bug me about it but there's not really anything super wrong with it. It's fine. It's going to work out. So for now, I think that's going to do it. Hopefully you understand the system. Hopefully I've conveyed what I wanted to convey. And uh, we'll be back with more of the tutorial series in, in, in tomorrow. And uh, the next episode of Experimental Cataclysm will be next week. So for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully everything I said makes sense. And I'll be back with more in the near future. So I'll see you in the next episode.